Good morning, brothers and sisters. Jim Peck with reporting here at End Times Prophecy News. Some important news this morning. Iran war drums. President Trump reportedly cancels retaliatory strike. FAA issues no fly order. Well, let's go back for a minute. If you don't know, we had some oil tankers. I think we're out of uh, uh, Norway or north of uh, Europe. Uh, European I think they were Norwegian or but anyway they got uh, blown up not entirely but they got mined by the Iranians and they blew holes in two of their oil tankers okay interesting because the, the libs love to not say they say they love to uh, protect our oceans and our our fishes but what do they they side with they side with the Muslims who do the complete opposite let's dump oil all over okay and uh, so anyway these tankers got blown up and sabotaged by the Iranians then they shot down this drone this hundred and thirty million dollar US drone okay and they said and the Iranian leaders were saying that Donald Trump is making up stories that they blew up the tankers and they blew up the drones. But they have videos of, of, of the Iranians praising Allah, Allahu Akbar, as usual, as the drone came down. Okay? So, you know, they're all happy about this right now now so here we have this story so trump then tweeted yesterday i believe that uh, the iranians made a huge mistake and they will shortly find out what's going to happen and the, of course the fake news uh media was asking him what are you going to do uh, what are you going to do basically and he's he said uh, you'll find out he doesn't give out any and they kept badgering him for exact answers and he wouldn't answer okay all right so now they have this report here now this is very interesting notice where the report is coming from president trump report reportedly authorized and then canceled a retaliatory attack on iran thursday night for the downing of an unarmed u.s drone the night before reported the new york Times in a report later confirmed by CBS News. They're all fake news propaganda machines. Now, interesting here, find out, look at, look at the sources and the writers of this. Planes were in the air and ships in position. However, no missiles had been launched. What are they trying to do here with Donald Trump? CBS David Martin uh, of CBS News confirms says there was every indication the United States was about to launch a limited strike against Iranian surface to air missile sites Thursday night. But the U.S. stood down at the 11th hour for still unexplained reasons. The FAA issued an order bar barring U.S. civilian aircraft from much of Iranian airspace, leading to speculation the attack was put off to allow the airspace to be cleared. Now, this is possibly the truth here, but don't ever believe that you're getting the complete truth from New York Times. And it comes straight off of, if you just click on your, your browser, uh, straight off of MSN News. This is MSN News right here. And you can find it right down here. And they love to quote after, after New York Times. It's one of their favorites. Fake news. And here's the story. Trump approves strikes on Iran, but then abruptly pulls back. Hmm. Is that what he did? Well, if you ask me, number one, there is... it. All the sources are are uh, unnamed sources they just use the word trump administration many senior trump administration officials but there's no names <laughs> now we do know that they have that the cia and fbi have bugged and and are wiretapping the f phones of the trump administration and the the oval office still we know that okay 
you know, so the, the way they cover that is by using the words Trump administration, many senior Trump administration officials. But I'd like to ask you, where do we see anyone like, sir, like anyone talking about this from the Trump administration officials? Nowhere, nowhere. If they wanted you to know this, why, why are we not hearing it? We're to believe that the New York Times has the inside scoop? Are you serious? We know how they are Muslim lovers, libtards who hate Trump. The FAA issued an order barring U.S. civilian aircraft from much of Iranian airspace, leading to speculation the attack was put off to allow the airspace to be cleared. Okay, so now we have an FAA order to bar U.S. civilian, all U.S. civilian aircraft. That means it's safe to fly there, right? That means there is no worry about war, right? Think about it. That makes no sense whatsoever. And here's the official thing. The Federal Aviation Administration has issued a notice to airmen prohibiting U.S. registered aircraft from operating over the Persian Gulf and Gulf of Oman. The NOTAM warns pilots that flights are not permitted in the overwater area of the Tehran flight information region until further notice due to heightened military activities and increased political tensions that might place commercial flights at risk. The NOTAM applies to all U.S. air carriers and commercial operators. Okay. From, tweeted from W.G. Dunlop. The Federal Aviation Administration has barred U.S. civilian flights from the area where Iran shot down on American military drones, citing heightened military activities and increased political tensions in the region. Well, that's true, right? Okay. But the New York Times puts this out. President Trump approved military strikes against Iran in retaliation for downing an American surveillance drone, but pulled back from launching them on Thursday night after a day of escalating tensions. I'm going to ask you a question. People who hate Trump, wouldn't they love to make him look like a waffling dictator? Exactly. You see, they're trying to make him look like a Kim Jong Young who doesn't know what he's doing. Did Trump ever act like he was not knowing what he was doing? Did he ever waffle in his decisions? No. No, he doesn't. He does not waffle in his decisions. He might have to change a decision because circumstances have arise to change that decision. Okay? Now, it's true that it's possible that this story is somewhat true. But let me tell you something. Don't believe all of it at all. In fact, you can put very little weight on this at the moment until we hear something from a official Trump administration official who's actually named, not unnamed. Because when you use the words Trump, uh, senior Trump, many Trump administration officials, but no names, that's unnamed sources, isn't it? Yes. You see how they're playing the, the game, make, trying to make it look official? As it says right here, according to multiple senior administration officials involved in or briefed on deliberations. And if you look at, look who wrote the article. Maggie Haberman. Michael Crowley, Eric Schmidt, and Michael G. Scheer. They all are major Trump haters. Officials said the president had initially approved attacks on a handful of Iranian targets like radar and missile batteries. The operation was underway in its early stages when it was called off, a senior administration official said. Planes were in the air and ships were in position, but no missiles had been fired when word came to stand down, the official said. Now, it's possible this happened. Okay. And it's possible that Trump found out that his intelligence of what really happened with the drone and those ships that were mined and blown some of that information was not quite true or maybe it's possible that trump is just showing some restraint and grace as god's servant or maybe it's possible this is all fake news 
Remember Trump's words. You will you will find out. And I ran it. Trump tweeted yesterday. I think it was yesterday. You have made a huge mistake by shooting down our drone in international airspace, not Iranian airspace. Okay. So, and of course, New York Times and all the fake news is trying to say that Trump is arguing that it was in international airspace, but it wasn't. It was in Iranian airspace. You know, they're trying to spin it that way. The strike was set to take place just before dawn Friday today in Iran to minimize risk to the Iranian military and civilians. An alternative theory for the cancellation was posted by Jeffrey Lewis, who recalled President Nixon facing a similar situation in his first term. I don't buy this. Trump's team is trying to have it both ways, acting restrained, but talking tough. This is pretty much what Nixon did in 1969, too. Why not just admit that sometimes restraint is smart? The New York Times ran the same story on Nixon in 1969. Nixon was not going to retaliate, but he wanted people to think he almost did, and the great lady obliged. Let's take a look at this story here. May 6, 1969. Aides say Nixon weighed Swift Korea reprisal. Aides say Nixon weighed reprisal. According to top administration officials, here we go. Look at this. Those are unnamed sources. Military retaliation was President Nixon's first inclination as he considered his response to the shooting down April 15th of an unarmed United States Navy reconnaissance plane by North Korea. Um, I can't read the rest of it. I have to subscribe. You always got to pay money to, to uh, listen to propaganda. So anyway... In the meantime, the U.S. airline United is canceling flights. Now, check this out. We have now controlled airspace that no U.S. flights can fly in because it's possible wartime, but Trump canceled? How does that make any sense? That doesn't make sense. It would seem that the, that the airspace would be canceled prior to the war possible war with Iran, right? Right. You see? You see how it doesn't make sense? Now, it is a fact we have this FAA, FAA prohibiting all U.S. operators from flying in the overwater area of Iran controlled airspace over the Strait of Hormuz and Gulf of Oman. That is true. But the rest of the story, I don't believe it. It is just a ploy to make Trump look like he's an idiot, wild nutball. That's what they do. Unnamed Trump administration officials. You guys are sick over there at New York Slime. You're the failing New York Times, as Trump has said over and over again. I can't wait to hear some real news from the Trump administration on this. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important announcement. Would you like to see most of your illnesses go away? Let me introduce you to the Water Smacker. A new modern breakthrough in science has come to knowledge ridding your body of many toxins through this state-of-the-art new technology. The testimonials are endless. People have been healed of shingles, pancreas survivor healed, colon cancer patient healed. Your skin returns its oil back to itself and elasticity. Gray hair goes away. Look younger. Red blood cells return to being round. Plaque in your arteries is wiped out. Blood pressure is lowered. Feel stronger and have more energy. Return to a more youthful feeling and look. Pick up your water smacker today for only $350. And don't forget to mention Brother Jim sent you. The link is down below along with the website and other videos for a much longer description. Thank you.